Hi, right, welcome back to Pearson Repair. Today for sale, I have actually, I'm selling this on through, not through the website, but I have for sale. So PM me if you're interested. This is a lovely example of a 1967 Mark VI. Um, the serial number is 142. And I looked it up. That makes it one that makes it 67, I believe. Um, I did an overhaul on this a few years ago, but it hasn't had a whole lot of hard playing. So it's still in really good shape. I just checked it out this morning, did a couple little little minor things. Um, I'm going to go and play this on a gig tonight, so hopefully you'll see this that footage tagged on to the end of this. So um, I'm partial to my Mark VI, which is an 85,000 in 1960. But if I, for some reason, that, that horn went away and I had to replace it with this, that'd be a really great trade. Um, this horn plays, baby, it plays. Let me play you some. <laughs> Now, there's actually a YouTube. If you look on my YouTube channel, Pearson Repair, you can see me reconditioning this lovely horn. Um, it's had some, it's had some, some, some life to it, as many of these horns often have. But as many of these that I've played, this is probably one of the better examples of that. It plays like a mother. It plays great. It plays great. Um, it's had a little bit of neck pull down, and I've tried to correct a little bit of that. Correct, correct that. Um, I use closed close cell foam and all the, all the, um, the adjustments and it plays wonderfully for sale for 5,700. And if it were in better condition, it's got the original lacquer. That's about, oh, 50, 60% remaining, which is typical for this age. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful horn. All right. Thanks.